Maybe it's the weed got me. Maybe it's these trees got me. Maybe it's these holes got me. Maybe it's the stroll that got me. Maybe it's these clothes got me. Maybe it's these laws got me. Maybe it's my dogs got me. Maybe it's these bras got me. Maybe it's this man that got me. Maybe it's my clan that got me. Maybe it's my fan that got me. My plants, my plants. The Matrix, the Matrix. When I wake up in the morning. I wake up in the morning putting my weed in my Bible papers. <laughs> Laws, I can see them later. Middle finger up, always screaming, fuck a hater. Chewing on them suckers like an hour later. No hip hop, this ain't rock and roll. This is real music, pop like your soul. We got, we got Brother Almanac right here. And like you guys already know, it's a live show. We need you to come and visit our studios. We're going to have a studio. It's in Riverside, the IE. Right now it's in Corona. Right, right now you're looking in the back of a green one, two, screen. One, two, I'm good. You're good. Ain't nobody in the Inland Empire who has anything like this. So, Brother Almanac, what do you think about Mike Brown, Ferguson, well, we St. Sure Louis? My mic is on. Ferguson. You are good. All right, Ferguson, Ferguson, Ferguson. This is uh, this is the, this is the powder keg getting lit. This is what it is. We see what they're doing. They're uh, they're stopping the media from reporting. Correct. They're they're giving disinformation. When you they're releasing videotapes showing. Oh, okay. This is him committing the crime, which is still nothing. You would kill somebody over. Still, still in a couple of switches, sweets. You don't murder people for that. You know what I mean? Speaking but about then you show the whole video. Shows him paying for them. So. So what are you saying that there was one video released? Uh, same and then video. Another one? You know, Propaganda? Just different, we were warned like about Tupac this. Like Tupac said, the yeah. media's full of dirty tricks. And they're doing that to us. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, so this is this is gonna get bigger. They're doing everything they can to contain it. Okay. You know what I mean? They want every, you know. But look, look at this. This police response. This police response. It's bad when you have other countries talking to Mike. You know, uh, protesting for us. Have okay. you seen this in Turkey and everywhere else? They're giving yeah. uh, people clues. I mean, tell us. Teaching what do you, them. Yeah. You what know, like, hey, pictures? this is what you do in a gas attack. You know, you have the Palestinians and the people in Turkey and everything going, hey, when, you know, when they try to gas you, this is what you do. They're sending them that information to the protesters of Ferguson. That's, That's a, right. This is the United States of America, mind you. So this is really showing what's going on here. This is very much, this could be our future everywhere, not just in Missouri, it's but anywhere, so you know. But disinformation is key. And that's what they want. They want, Miss, uh, they want, for, they want Mr. Brown to be a, the bad guy in this. They want to justify his mm. murder. And they're doing everything they can. And uh, they're even doing it to the point to where they feel Al Sharpton's there now. Praise the Lord. Praise God. This nigga got uh, a perm in his hair and it's 2014. Mr. Opportunist. How many niggas got a motherfucking soul glow still? Mr. What I like about shit. this. 
And uh, I was at work today, and, and they were talking about this at work. I'm at work today, and they're talking about this. And, of course, an older gentleman, or a Caucasian gentleman, comes up, and he goes, okay, the real racist is Sharpton. He's there. And to, and to him, the way he goes into this whole little diatribe, and his whole thing is, okay, it's completely invalidated now that Sharpton's there. It doesn't matter what happened. It's okay because Sharpton showed up. Mm. So I'm like, is Sharpton like a plant? Is, like, is that yes. the whole purpose of Sharpton? Is He's an FBI there? rat. Just He's to go an there FBI and, agent. and invalidate everything. Because once they see Sharpton, once they see Jack, because they feel like Sharpton and Jackson are the king of black people. Have you ever noticed this? They talk about yeah. Sharpton. Like, I don't know anybody black who cares about Sharpton. <laughs> right. <laughs> our cares our about generation, they are not our leaders. Uh, they they talk about, well, why do you guys always pull out Sharpton Let's and Jackson? I'm so like, show our guests too. We, we don't. What? I don't know who pulled out. Shirt. You never introduce your guest, so why would I do that? Because when you split it, I'm a uh, show the guest. You, you had it. You had it earlier. You introduce you introduce him, and I'll split it. Well, well, let's introduce him. Well, I got a brother who I looked up to. You know what I'm saying? We didn't kick it like that in high school, but he was a legend in the IE. Very much so. In Riverside, I remember hearing about him, and uh, through right. social media, yep. through energy. We, we connected. I sat behind him in math you know class. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the guy's been hearing about me, and uh, we've been connecting, and, I, and I'm just thankful to have good spirits and positive people come to What Is The Matrix TV and our studios. So I'm going to introduce a running back legend yep. from John W. North High School, yep. the legend, Tyrone Irving! Yep, yep. You better call Tyrone. Call Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to say last days, you know. Hey, what year was that? What year was that? Oh, that was um, 96 through 2000. So long, what do you think, brother? A long time ago. <laughs> oh, damn, it was it's about 10. It's to think wow. about high this, school. Hey, this, this, getting older. Yeah. this is Rubido. <laughs> this is Rubido High School in the house, right? Hey, we smashed you guys, though. Don't worry about none of that. <laughs> hey, not, of not in those years. Not in those years. Yo, no, no, we actually night. did in those years. Yeah, John every Bush. time. All I gotta say is I got no love for either of them. North kicked me out, and Riverside Unified said I couldn't come back to any of their schools. Hey, and you gotta Abraham stop lighting Lincoln, fires. God bless you, home of the brave, stinking Lincoln, 14th and Victoria, where the real one is at. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the east side of Riverside. Hey, you know. <laughs> I want to this this Mike Brown thing. I want to talk about the demonization of the boy, because um, a couple of days before they came out with the video, somebody sure texted me. Somebody texts me and they said, hey, why do they keep talking about he's on his way to college? I said, well, because in a couple of days they're going to talk about he was a thug. And, wow. so, and so what they're doing now Good is they're trying, to wow. they're trying to combat that in advance because it's the same playbook, the same yep. manuscript. Go back to Trayvon Martin. He got killed, but we know that he smoked weed and missed school. Oh. That has nothing to do with nothing. the overall scenario. It's, it's the demonization of a person. And so what it does is it makes people make their mind up before they know anything. If you want to uh, go read something that'll make you just like kind of flip your wig, go to the Tea Party website and read their comments. Oh my God. 20,000 go comments. YouTube. Oh, about how he's a thug, yes. how we beat up the cop with no proof. You see what I'm saying? Yep. And then they'll tell you don't jump to conclusions while they're jumping to conclusions. But the conclusions come through the propaganda that we see on the television screen. Um, it, it, right now, it's just like the intelligent mind is the only person that could come up with the conclusion to just wait to see what happened. Most other people just kind of feed in to what they say on the news and is and the lines have been drawn you right. know can you can you throw up a picture that we got of the the dog biting one of the brothers oh we're getting we're getting a lot of calls right now so oh, we're getting for, there. so folks calling in just know we're working on it calling live the number is 866 831 5737 what is the matrix toll free number yeah. and we we're talking about the demonization of a black man. The pure character assassination of Mr. Brown. So you're telling me that the media and government, because we know that the government controls the media oh, and the church, because we talk about Al Sharpton. Completely. So follow Where's along. Al Sharpton's church at? Right. It, it's in the media. Where's the good reverend's church at? Closest thing I ever got to Jesse an Jackson was got a Jerry curl. He got an <laughs> S curl. Jerry, Jerry, Jesse Jackson yeah. got an S curl. Where is the good reverend's church at? 
The media. The Vatican Church. <laughs> okay. He works for the Vatican. And, and, He's an FBI agent. Somebody put him in them suits and them track suits. Somebody say, here, wear this. Instead. Even the Nation of Islam, since y'all didn't want to show up, I'm going to have to call y'all out. Shout out to all the brothers from the West Coast who claim the FOI and stuff. I know y'all get mad and want to now hearing y'all want to kill Jason or Elm Street because I'm talking about the minister. The fruit of stand on well, soapboxes. Well, where are y'all motherfuckers in Ferguson? I had, I had someone hit me up. Okay, we're getting some we calls. Call. Peace and love. Yo. Peace and Yo, love. What's the deal? Peace, God. What it do? Welcome to What is the Matrix, man. Well, we, no. we appreciate your call. And uh, what's your name and where you're coming from? Oh, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm young Nino, man. Calling me from, uh, I'm, I'm contacting y'all from Lancaster State Prison, man. Yeah, okay. yeah. Word. Peace, God, man. What's good with it, man? How you been? Oh, uh, man, uh, I'm blessed, you know what I'm saying? Just keeping my head above water. The main focus is to remain focused, man. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, every day is a battle, man. So I'm just uh, trying to make it home safely to the family. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Uh, man, we all, we all make mistakes, and sometimes we get falsely accused of things. And I want to give a shout out to all my brothers in, in the prison. Keep he, your head. You know what I'm yep. saying? Much love. And oh, even, e even mm -hmm. my Pekka Woods, the Mexicans, the Samoans, and the blacks, it's time for y'all to come together in the prisons and go against the prison guards. It's time for all races to come together because at the end of the day, us as a humanity, we're all one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so what's the, going on the, in prison, man? What, what made you call the show, bruh? Uh, man, I just, uh, you know what I'm saying, first off, you know what I mean, wanted to, wanted to you know what I'm saying, just align people what's going on. I see that y'all always talking about things that need to be talked about, things that people are scared to talk about or, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> realize what the truth is about, you feel me? So we all have our own view perspective, bro, so you know what I'm saying, I just wanted to, you know what I mean, pitch in my, my two cents, if you understand. Well, no, well, please. Go ahead. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Uh, and you know what, you know what I mean, first off, a lot of people got the the conception of prison just being, you know what I mean, uh, uh, just full of people that are just criminals, bro. You know what I'm saying? Every race, every person, individual in here come from different backgrounds, whether black, Mexican, rich or poor, educated or not educated. You know what I mean? We're all different as well. It's just it's a world inside of a world, man. And, Dope. you know, my whole thing is like, you know, they talk about rehabilitation, and that's something that they don't do here. You feel me? Like, right. I've been here for the original three purpose. and a half years. Huh? That was the original purpose of our whole system, to rehabilitate. Yeah. And they've never exactly. done it. Exactly. Yeah, never done it. But they're, but, they, but they're not doing it, though. You know what I mean? So people wonder where all this tax money is going to. I've been on this show for, I want to say, about three years, bro. You know what I mean? And, and I have a college education, and they still try to put me in. Dude. High school diploma oh, class. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, oh, me. So, oh, so they have, that nigga they, calling they, me, man. <laughs> uh, uh, Y'all don't even know how revolutionary oh. this is. We don't know what's going to happen. My nigga's in literally prison. My brother, who I literally played football with in junior high, went to school. Day one. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is th th these are part of the people who made IE and Riverside hip hop alive and still dwelling yes, a lot of you people are in the ie hip-hop and west coast hip-hop but this is before facebook myspace itunes we had to from brothers from riverside my squad we had to go to compton yep. we had to go to long beach when niggas didn't even know what the Already. ie was you gotta Mate. understand that there's certain people who are dead. We got two calls prison. waiting two calls waiting all right all right all right so nino go ahead and say your thing Call, call in again in 15 minutes because we got a lot of other calls. But keep calling. The calls are going to stop at 11. But tell us what you want to say. Oh, man, just one thing, man. I just want everybody out there to, to, to keep their heads up. You know what I mean? When you think about giving up, just know that there's people in your worst position. So, obviously, at the end of the day, bro, you know what I'm saying? I say this to everybody. Realize that it's not about yourself. It's about those that love you and support you. So yeah. you got to stay motivated in order to keep them motivated. You feel me? Sir. Period. Right. You know what I mean? No matter the circumstances, man. So I'm going to give you all a call, man. Most definitely try to spit a couple 16 balls or something, man. Yeah, this call is real live, though. Call back tonight. Behind balls. Call back tonight, and you can spit a 16 bar, my brother. We'll give yep. you that. Shout out to all my brothers behind the wall. 
All the y'all, time. Y'all don't even know how hard it is to get a cell phone in prison. Hold your head. Hold your head. Hold your head. Man. So now we're That's talking about shit. we had a caller come call out of prison, and now we're talking about the dem- demonization of black people, us getting locked up left and right. Who's next? All you white folks out there, all you Mexicans, you guys are next. Don't think you're not next. That's Don't think you're not. Guys. See, they just no. use us for experiments yeah. first. They murdered somebody, and they're making him out to be the bad guy. The Every single time. Call. Hello? Hello, caller. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? What's going on, brother? I'm doing good, brother. How you doing? I'm good, good. So what do you got to say tonight? Who's calling? Uh, tell, tell Elm Street this is uh, this brother Raji. The Hebrew Israelite. Oh, oh okay. nigga, your ass didn't fucking show up. With your Raji, boy. Raji. We're the Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. We're the Hebrew that? Israelites in the nation of Islam. This is the Mike again? Brown dedication show. There's no greater show in the IE better than this. Let's touch on it, Raji. This is Tyrone. But <laughs> oh, well, what's up, brother Rome? What's up, man? Touch on it. We love you, Raji. We're we glad nation. you called in, brother. You said we got the nation of Islam people up there? What? Everybody, the Christians were supposed to come. We got some goddesses oh. in the building. We got some well, real we don't, we, we not with none of those slave religions. They can take all those slave religions and go somewhere with that. <laughs> we're not with uh, uh, the, what you had, a modern-day Christianity or the Islam. Right. You hear me? Yeah, we're not with none of that. That's, what, that's the problem why people don't know who we are, because they, they put all these slave religions out of slavery on us, so we don't even know who, who the God who, who the God of all gods is. You hear me? So what do you feel that the uh, Hebrew Israelites... Are a, a nation, uh, not a religion, an actual culture? What are you saying? No, the he, he, Hebrew Israelites is a bloodline. Christ was an Israelite. He has nothing to do with religion. Religion is something that's man-made. Jesus was an Israelite. His name wasn't even Jesus. It was Yeshia. Uh, okay, it, yeah, tell the people that, nigga. Say it again. Say it again. His name is Yeshia, which is said there was no J's when Jesus walked the earth. So, so His name is Yeshia. Okay. So okay. therefore, audience listening, because uh-huh. I agree with a lot with what you're saying. But okay. Can we agree there's no such thing as Jesus? No, no, there was no. The, the name Jesus come from Jesus because they was worshiping Zeus. The, the Romans was worshiping Zeus. Right. Just That's like right. you call a Mexican, hey Zeus, if you spell the name <laughs> of Jesus. <laughs> right. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? All yeah. right, brother. Well, you know, it's not, it, it, but 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 but. The Bible is 100% a book of color. It has nothing to do with a white person's book at all whatsoever. You understand you know, what I'm trying to tell you? I well, think on, on, on a bigger level, I think Brother Tyrone, he, he understands this also well. And I, I know you understand it too, Brother Jason. Uh, but uh, these police officers, they're, they're, you know, they keep saying people are shooting in the crowd. People are shooting in the crowd. It's a set no, up. The, yep. the police are shooting in the crowd or shooting in the background. It's a set so they up. can bring home the law, which will, you know, the, you know, the brothers know it as the King Alfred plan, where they're going to put everybody in internment camps. America is not your homeland, people. You got to stop trying to hold on to America. America right. is against well, you. You well, understand? I, well, I let my brothers talk. Right, right. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I completely believe it's a setup. Um, you got 15 million cameras out there, and not one camera has caught a Molotov cocktail. Right. Not one camera yeah. has caught somebody pulling somebody out with a uh, gun out of their car. At the end of the day, at 3 o'clock in the morning, the chief comes on, and he has a couple guns and a Molotov cocktail. Right. Um, I think it's sort of similar to what the United States Ooh. did. Well, that was kind of pissed up, though. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's sort of. We were waking I, up. I, I, this, is, this is what I, the show's about. Look, I think it's similar to what the United States Better did, church. what they did with the chief. They removed the white guy so they don't get demonized, and they put a black guy in right. to calm the black people down. But at the same time, the same, the same tactics are still going on. Similar to the United States of America, they took a white guy out of power and put a black guy in, and as you can tell, we're marching right back in the war once what, again. What, I, and you know what? I'm 100 percent with you. Amazing. I got one question though for Amazing. all the Christian brothers that's listening that's out there, right? They didn't what nationality show up. are you? No, 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 hold on one second. What what nationality are you according to the Bible? I'm trying to figure out what nationality are you. All these black people talking about they African Americans. Ain't no Africans and ain't no Americans in the Bible if they believe in the Bible. Right. That's some stuff that they gave you after slavery. Because we don't even know who we are identity wise. That's now, true. Now, a point that I was going to bring up those people that's in Israel, that ain't their land. Them people is white people. They Roman. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? They use that as a, a pretext to, 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 to uh, uh, by funding Hitler. We had Bush's daddy that funded Adolf Hitler and gave him the gas. That's true. Tank. True. All okay. 
Keep right. talking. Talk, clo talk closer into your cell phone, brother, so we yeah. can hear you clearly. Keep kicking that knowledge. We love we it. We need that message. We need we it. We love it. All right. You can hear me? Okay, now listen. George Bush funded Hitler, and them other people, they, they can't even prove with the Bible that them is God's people. They're not God's people. The Bible says in, in Revelations 2 and 9, it says that he knows our, talking about black folks, your tribulation, your poverty, but thou art rich. And he says, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. You hear me? Everything right. that you're seeing is working right now is working through these people. These people are not God's people at all whatsoever. Not and at it's all. It's funny because they, they always want to say, oh, well, you're anti-Semitic. I can't be anti-Semitic against myself. And it ain't even <laughs> anti-Semitic. Right. Hey, it's called anti shemitic because Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. We right. come from Shem. So how are we anti-Semitic? They can miss us with that statement. Right. We wide awake. See, right. And, and, we and, know and, that we're the children of God. And, 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 works against and it's, it's sad you know something is wrong when the United States throw their full backing behind somebody for yeah. no apparent oh, reason. What you do we have oh, in that region? And, and all you black folks, I'm going to speak out there, all you black people that trust Obama, you're going to die through this. All you black people that let them shoot these vaccines and stuff in Let's your arms and testing on you, you folks are going to die through starts. this. Picture. Only a small percent of us is going to make it through this according to the book. But, I, hey, I'm here to drop something real quick, Judah, real quick. This place that we're standing on called America will not be here when Jesus comes back. So, you know, Elm Street be saying, you know, you know, y'all waiting on Jesus. Yeah, they can wait on Jesus, but he ain't coming to know America. Mm -hmm. America will be totally destroyed according to the Bible. The Bible says when Iran, when we go to war with Iran, the Medes, the Persian Empire, they're going to destroy us off the face of the earth. That's the book right there. And we on and they don't way want to right talk now. about that. Yeah, all these fake pastors out here, man, I'm telling them now, we putting y'all on notice. They hustlers. Ain't no, sun, ain't no Sunday <laughs> in the Bible. The Bible don't tell us to, 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 to worship on Sunday. The Sabbath you understand day. Me? Well, let me this tell is Sabbath day. These people are pagans, and they're trying to push paganism on us. Like Christmas. But listen, we, we kick it like Christmas and like Easter. None of that's in the Bible. But we can't blame the white man for this. We got to take responsibility for us. You got to understand what I'm telling you. We're in, a, we're in this position because if you read the whole Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the curses went against us because God gave us his law and we broke his commandment. And Who the fuck is breaking God? His commandment, Who is huh? God? No, his name we ain't got God. a call waiting and, and we got to get to a video. That these churches, it ain't Jehovah, it ain't Yahweh, all that is Satan. I'm going to tell you now. And guess who's teaching you that? The theologian seminary schools are teaching these pastors that's in there talking about Jesus and God. Jesus <laughs> oh, I got a good like story about we, that. We, got a, we want you. To they scare you out of your money. They turn you upside down and shake you till your tell pennies you, fall out. Little there you go. Hey, brother Tyrone, I agree with you, brother. I agree hey, with you. Hey, Raji, Raji, we got a couple more callers, man. Thanks for the call. We definitely appreciate it. Call back as soon as you can. Come on in, man. We need that knowledge up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Hey, y'all brothers stay up, and I'm going to definitely tune into the show, and uh, I'm definitely going to come up there. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to work on it soon, man. I got a brand new baby, though, so it's kind of hard yeah. for me. You know what I mean? Much love, Much brother. love, much love. Yeah, yeah much love. Hey. hey. Let me play on that real quick, a little quick anecdote that I had to deal with this week. I had a, uh, this is a pastor that comes into my job every night, and he asked me, have you been praying? Because I noticed you're not working the hours you used to work to cut my hours, right? And I said, no. He's like, why? Because I said, I'm not a Christian. That'd be hypocritical. Start praying to someone's shit is bad. I ain't praying when it's good. I have some kind of integrity, right? Like, give me a break. And he looks at me. He's like, you're too damn proud. And you're ignorant and stupid. And you have to release all your knowledge that you think you know because you don't know more than God. And I said, that's what I don't care for about your religion. Your religion just wants slaves and wants sheep. That's all you want. You don't want it. You know? And he's like, you know what? And this is what he told me verbatim. He said, I'm going to pray to God that he ruins your life. Ruins your life, breaks you. I hear the same thing, bro. Keep talking. So I hear you, you can, yeah. your heart can be softened, you. and you can come to him. So I said, you go, only way I'm going to follow your God is he jobs me, essentially. He ruins my, you know, because, you know, the God of the Bible is. He's trying to he knock gets, you down. He doesn't just hurt level. you. Your wife turns into salt. Your children die. Every, your animals, everything dies. It's not just you. You get to stay alive. You just got to suffer through this shit. It's like yeah, cruel. 927 Yeah, but your wife years. is dead. Everybody else is dead. They're gone. Oh. Yeah. But, you know, you get a new wife. You get a new kids. But you don't get a new salt wife and shit. You know Almanac. what I mean? Almanac. Keep talking. What is the nature of TV? <laughs> it is crazy. You need to go to a commercial break. Caller, caller. Caller, caller. Hello. Hello. What's going on, caller? Who is this? It's Warlord. Where are you What's from, up, Warlord? Warlord? I'm from L.A., but I'm calling from Paris. What's on your mind? Oh, man, I, I just got some questions for people, all these people that push this, this Jesus and this, this, this religion thing. 
before slavery, what was we doing? And on top of that, if a nigga would lie to, if, if any, if a man would lie, I ain't gonna say a nigga. If a man would lie to get some pussy, what do you think he'd do to ruin, ruin the world? Right. It's just that simple. Wow. Damn. What would he yeah. do for a absorbing an amount of money? Yeah, you know I'm saying. Well, I let right. my brothers talk first. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get the set correct. We need you, more donations. I, I, I always ask people, people calling in. Murdoch, can you please put the thing to where they can send donations if they're watching this world ride? I, I say the same thing as you. I always say, um, what would you be if you were never a slave? Would you be a Christian? Right. And um, rarely do I get an answer. You see, I believe um, Christianity, it, amongst black people, it came from a desperation of need of hope. A lot of time when people are needed of hope, they need something to believe in. Right. And what's better than something that you could pray to and get essentially whatever you and want? And that goes with the story I just told where he says, oh, I'm going to come crawling to God because my life is shit now. That's the only way I'm going to worship. I can't worship your God any other time. If I'm happy, I don't want nothing to do with him. But if he <laughs> right. destroys my life and shit, then then that's when I go, you know, please save me. Okay, I got you now. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to carry you footstep, uh, foot, footsteps in the beach and all that other bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, get the fuck out of here. Hey, God is good all the time. I can't believe that motherfucker to told me people. that. I almost spit on him. I was so angry. God is good. <laughs> I was like, the next thing I just here. want to tell people. So what's your, what's your question, Warlord? So, the, so the, the next thing I just want to tell people is, is if you pray to the same guy that your enemies do, you're praying to the wrong one. Oh, wow. It's just that simple. Well, Lord, you got to call yeah, all the time. Don't get no, That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, you know, it don't get no hard. It don't, you don't get you, no better than that. That's just the truth. You put up on my mind, Warlord. What happened before a football game when both teams pray to win? Yeah. Do God, <laughs> do God not yeah. like the loser? Are they going to one-up? Yeah. I've been watching the hard night life. Let me shut up. These teams sacrificing lambs and shit. We will be yeah, it, it just don't work. It, it, I, I don't see how I don't see how that can work. If you got one people praying for your destruction and one people praying for healing, you can't pray to the same God. It just don't happen. It just can't happen. That's a schizophrenic that's, that's sociopathic right. deity. Warlord, Warlord, if me and you go out for the same job and we both pray for it, if you get it, do God not like me? No, that don't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> I know. See, we, 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 it's just like this, man. If, if, if God is about love and he about everything else, he can't be about jealousy. He can't be about death. He can't support raping. He can't support killings. You understand what I'm saying? Which video? We're at this point right now where everybody looking for a sky to bust open and looking for somebody to come down, but they forget about the millions and millions of people that already perished before us. So if it ain't happened for them, then it ain't going to happen for us. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Well, I wonder if Mike Brown prayed last week. You know what I'm saying. Well, right. Ash, well uh, Brother Warlord, how do you feel about uh, brothers like Al Sharpton? Or I, I wouldn't even say there's those are my brothers at this point. Uh, all them you, niggas is fake, I, man. I'm going to keep it 100. They all fake. It's money. Is is I think about this though. Look how many look how many people and how many blacks, any race. Look how many people have died. And when do you see them? You only see them on high profile cases. Right, right, right. You only see them on shit that hit the media. If they can't stand up for everybody that's going down, then they ain't real. It's right. just that simple. You can't care for one person and not care for the rest of your people. I went to a protest on Sunday for Ezel Ford out in L.A. He got shot three times without a weapon wow. by the Los Angeles PD. They rode up on him for absolutely no reason, no probable cause. No Jesse Jackson, no Al Sharpton, um, no national news media because we wasn't breaking right. shit. Right. You see what I mean? Right. If we was breaking shit, then everybody would have came. You know, if it was some money in it, then they would have came. But but long as it's grassroots, they, don't, they, they really don't care. And I, I'm literally tired of people um, just assuming that black people automatically – we throw all of our faith and our backing behind these men when we don't. They're just men. They're profiteers. Right. They just like they're capitalists. We live in a capitalistic right. system, and, and like that's we exactly what they earlier, do. They, it's almost as if they're used to invalidate any true movement and stuff in the eyes of white people to begin with. Like I said, another thing at work is a guy, oh, no, Sharp just showed up. He's the real racist. This is out of his mouth. And I'm like, are you serious? It's, it's racist on both sides. <laughs> he's like, he's the real. So the whole thing's invalidated. This man was still murdered. But that's, it doesn't matter now because Al Sharpton showed up. Brother Warlord, appreciate your call, man. Appreciate that. We're about to Man, all good. Appreciate the show, homie. Yeah, man, you. call, call yeah, in please more call every again. week. Call in tonight. We love that you. That was and fantastic. You. And uh, if you're there still, Warlord, uh, if, you, if you're an artist, if you want to promote your video, your product, 
hit us up, come to our studio, and let's break bread and we'll promote you because we know that everybody's watching this worldwide, not too many platforms like this. We're about to go into a, a quick video and showing you footage of the riots, possibly uh, the, the witnesses that saw the uh, brother get murdered. Right. And uh, we're going to take Who are a being quick intimidated, break. by the way. And Definitely. I'm chilling with brother Tyrone. Tyrone. I'm Mr. Almanac. And I'm one of the masters of the universe, Jason Elm Street. Jr. What is the Matrix? Peace and love. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back, get back. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Look what they bringing. Look at this shit. Look what they bringing. Look what they're bringing. Baby, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. I don't have a car to get into, officer. I don't have a car to get into. Huh? They marching. Everybody's up that way, and they marching. Where the fucking cameras at now? Besides ours, KSDK, KMO. Whoa, bad, bad. Hey, 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 Erica, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. They fucking throwing tear gas at us. Here they go. They fucking throwing tear gas. They're fucking back. Get back. Get back. Uh, there was a lady that just got her shot in the head. So you know. Shot in the head by who? Who? No, don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't shut him up. He told us. He's talking to us like humans. I appreciate that. Who should get shot in the head by? We're going, sir. When did you ask me to get off the lot, sir? Hello. Why are you here? Why are you Hello. Here now? I was here to peacefully protest, and I'm here in this lot because I was on the street peacefully protesting, okay. and you got okay. shot tear gas. All right. Go ahead and get your. My car is in that lot over there where you had your tanks. This is a peaceful protest. Peaceful protest. Everybody's hands are in the air. And they do this shit. Y'all heard him say it was a lady that just got shot in the head. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if that's a scare tactic. So can we walk this way? I want to make sure we're clear. Thank you. That's where I'm going. They might tell you different, but I don't. Well, I, I would hope you guys are all together. We already got tear gas. That's what I have asthma. We already got tear gas. Babe, keep your shirt up. This is what they wanted. They wanted us to leave. We not forgetting them, no. Ever. He told me that in order to get to my car, I was going to get tear gas. That's, they fucking pushed us back. They don't like what we're saying. So they shot tear gas on us. Uh, Have sniper rifles hey, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back, get back. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Look what they bringing. Look at this shit. Look what they bringing. Look what they bringing. 
Baby, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. I don't have a car to get into, officer. I don't have a car to get into. Huh? What is the Matrix TV? I got my brother's almanac in. Tyrone. Now, we just saw what's going on in Ferguson from peaceful protests. Throw up a picture. Okay, don't let the, the opportunists that are looting, which is being stopped by the protesters too, by the way, before they get into that. Don't they don't want to show you, you that. They don't, it's yeah. demonization. Don't let that invalidate what's actually going like on. You gotta look like an animal to get treated like one. Yeah, but don't let them, but we're gonna talk about Cliven Bundy. We, no. want to, we want to show, just earlier this year, there was a rancher who was grazing his cattle on federal lands. Out in Nevada. Out in Nevada. The federal government said, you owe us money for that. It was like a million dollars or something, right? It wasn't right, even, right, right. You know, but he's a wealthy rancher. Minuscule to the wealthy, man. And he said, no, I ain't going to pay you. No, and he the, said, hell no. Hell no, My I ain't going to pay you. My family's been here. I'm not yeah. doing it. We have ancestral rights, even though there's no paperwork to prove that. There's nothing to show how far back his family his actually goes. None of that. But, you know, he's a cowboy, so, you know, it's his job, right? You know, this is how a lot of these guys feel. We're, you know, don't tread on me, uh, I'm a teabagger, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess <laughs> what? He collects all the local militias. They come down with their high-powered rifles, armed, AR better. AR-15s, AR shotguns, and everything, to defend automatic his right, weapons. Right? Right. To defend his right to, to tell the federal government, fuck you, I ain't paying you. I just took from you. And what are you going to do about it? Right. And, and hey, guess what the federal agents did? What they, did they do? They backed up. They, 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 they tucked tail and ran. They ran. No tear gas. No, no tear gas. Uh, no tanks. No tanks. Uh, uh, no loud sirens to, to distract them while Nothing. they throw tear gas on them and, and, and drag them away. Nobody they went to jail. They snipers training on federal agents. You, do, you know how many laws that are breaking just in that, having these oh, weapons don't, don't, don't forget the, the man and woman that a couple weeks later went out and murdered a couple but, people yes, in Vegas. They were a part and, of that. And they were at the climate. Clive and Bundy Ranch. Wait, I saw so with where the is the excuse? See, I, and now I, let's remember Clive and, uh, uh, wow. Bundy's comments on black people. Also, how you know everything was better when right. they were slaves. Right. Right. Say his name again, because I'm know. learning more too. You know, I they want, had I want more. Everybody watching live. See, these are some of the best calls. These are brothers. Wait. We gotta. We're not asking. No, finish what you were saying. Say his Essentially, name Clive and Bundy, Mr. Mr. Bundy, Clive and Bundy. They, they protested yes, with rifles. Yeah, and he basically had a very... Uh, What's old... going on, Caller? What's going on? Caller, are you there? Hey. Yes, I'm here. Hello, Caller. What's your name? Where are you from? Hey, this is, this is Candace. Hi, Candace. He's got us. Welcome Can you hear me? Welcome. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to What is the Matrix TV. We believe in the... Hi, guys. Do you guys... Uh, what would you like to tell us, Candace? Um, well, you know, I just want to let you guys know that you're doing an amazing job and I'm grateful for, for the connection and it's important to get this message out to everyone to wake people up. But myself, I've gone really deep down the rabbit hole. I, I've seen the reptilians. I've, I understand what's happening, the, the infrastructure of this planet, huh. where it's headed, the dark energy, religion, the, you know, police state, you name it. Okay, so all of this... Yeah. All of this happening, right? So, what do we do? What are the solutions? I mean, we're waking people up, we're awake, I feel awake. I'm, I'm at a state where I want to connect with people who are helping others raise the vibration. Okay. And you're feeling all this is tying in together with the reptiles, the reptilians, and whatnot. They're controlling the strings behind the scenes. And... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
Because where is this in the rabbit hole? In the path of the rabbit hole? What, what, what's going on currently? Where does that? Where does it? Where is it? You know what I mean? Yeah, we have tea. You know, is right it? Now, the rabbit hole is just seems like we're in depopulation stages. Right. Right. Finding reasons to well, kill everybody off. Yeah. You think, think the uh, the pharmaceutical companies and all the cancer and the AIDS throwing the ice bucket challenge. Yeah. Ebola. Get a picture of the ice so we got our Ebola guys. people there so, out in so, Atlanta. So essentially what you're saying is it's a modern day eugenics going on. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It started with Hitler. It started, yeah, absolutely. That's yeah, well, yeah, see, that's yeah, another yeah, thing America too. America adopted yeah. that from Hitler, the Planned Parenthood. But a lot of the eugenic science so was done so here so in the States. Um, to answer your yeah. question, I, I, I personally think the first solution is to uh, keep the awareness going because a conscious person is an awake person. There's so many of us that walk around sleep. Um, I guess if you uh, combine sleep with an animal, it's called sheeple. And um, <laughs> there's a lot of sheeple walking around that really don't think for themselves. There's a religion that likes to refer to their people as sheep, too. <laughs> oh, <that one's> cool. <laughs> part of the flock. Part of the flock. Oh, yeah. That was dope. It's See, see, we're a yeah, championship it, team. That's the whole point. When I yeah. pass the ball, so my can brother passes. Can I tell you guys this? Can I tell you guys this? Please. Even what's a little scary for me is even the New Age movement seems a little shitty, and something ain't right about that. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Scientology. Scientology. Yeah, Scientology, yeah. Yeah, or whatever, exactly. The Golden like, Dawn uh, movement. What is going on there? Well, that's the like, fire break, as it is, is they see uh, they see the flames coming, and so what they do is they start other things to distract us. So they're like, they want to, you know, kind of just like purge, you know, the other like-minded people, get them confused and keep them breaking us up. You know, they don't want a united front. That's what that is. You right. know what I mean? Right. You, you, you corrupt the other ones, and people will go, oh, they're all the same. Because they're not really, right. you know what I mean? Right. Coming into it, and they're, exactly. they're, and that's what they do. And you know, you're absolutely right, especially with Scientology. Scientology and and right? what, what I kind of laugh Talking about, about Scientology, I, 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 I look at, yeah. I look at, I look at Scientology, and I look at a lot of religion and certain things, just like I look at Nike. What they do is they advertise to you to pull you in. Yeah. So uh, wow. the only Scientologists you know of are who? Famous Flip. Scientologists, yeah. mm. because what that'll do is kind of make you just kind of walk to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, it, 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 <laughs> It, 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 it's just my manipulation. Well, let's so let's the question that, like, like you know, what if, let's let's tap into what they're doing or what these you new know, age movements are doing. I mean, like, let's go, let's get, let's get into Egypt. Like, what's going on in Egypt? I mean, what what's the truth here? Are they decalcifying our our pineal gland through uh, fluoride? You know, all this crazy. Oh stuff yeah, happens. yeah. The pineal, wow. the pineal gland. Um, yeah. See, the pineal gland is. See my way. It's it's <laughs> you you know uh, the pineal gland is what, what a lot of people think we're, 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 our 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 knowledge comes from. Um, like a like if you go to the Vatican, they have a pine cone in the Vatican. Really, it's a sure. pineal gland. Um, right. What they're saying, what what I have heard, I can't tell you for certain, is that people are looking. Melanin feeds the pineal gland. And, and, and black people, as a, as, as a person, we have the most, what, melanin. So they're trying to figure out ways to extract melanin to increase their penile gland. That's why they're killing them. That's why they took Mike Brown in the fucking SUV. You learn about the brothers. They steal our organs. Yep. They dig our graves. You learn about melanin pills in the fucking... Yes, we are at war. You guys got to understand. Hey, we're, we're, we're all black. If people really realize where we come yeah. from, we're all, we are we all, all black. We one. all come from Egypt. No matter we if you're white, from Africa. white, black, dark brown, blue, whatever, you come up out of me. And I have the most memory. Period. If you're white, right. Asian, Mexican, mixed But the, up, the penal gland is real important. I'm born with this shit. We got to just deal with this shit because we got to deal with the police, the government, the teachers, and everybody trying to erase our memory because naturally well you I'm know it's like the, all these all these distractions you know the nfl the, the basketball team, yeah you know, donald's third yeah. season <laughs> those are the a bunch of games that don't those even mean nothing Anunnaki. like you yeah. like like are you are you uh uh familiar with what people say the nephilim or the anunnaki the eight oh, foot yeah. beings the 12 yeah. foot beings 20 foot beings is that most christians don't even know that the nephilim is mentioned and giants are mentioned in the bible yeah is that crazy mm, right they, they don't even know their own bible that the angels came down and made children with the, with the daughters sex? of man which exactly. what's what's 
my God. That's saying I... something about your guy when you're working with this being at all times and you, you see some pussy and you still want to go get it. Like, you know, no, that bitch is fine. <laughs> Yeah, people are becoming more conscious. Hey, did you know that they, uh, your, pe your penile gland is considered your third eye? Absolutely. <laughs> well, look in the back of us. They make the, they make the pyramids and the Egyptians look bad. Yeah, you find that everywhere, mean. too. Look at any type of mass media. Yeah. You will find that. Because they the eye is on everything. They manipulate the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And all this can be found, too. Exactly. It's, it's hidden in plain and, and sight. I just, I just want to tell you guys I'm grateful for the connection and Mad love. Right. love. Before you go, yeah, I got one you. question to ask. Sure. So though, you were talking about the Anunnaki and the Nephilim, and, and, and my brother Almanac was talking about angels coming from heaven or outer space. Mm -hmm. what's, do you, what's the difference between an angel and an alien? What's the difference between an angel from God coming from outer space? And we know heaven means Oranos, which means Orion's belt. I'm sure y'all heard that name before. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between a, a angel or a being coming from or Orion's belt here and having sex with people than some some story? I, I, it would just be perception. That's all it would be, especially the way exactly. they describe it. Exactly. I mean, think about think about this. How many times? stories have been translated throughout history. Yeah. I mean, over and over again. So it's like lost in translation, just like the Bible. I like, have you, like, yeah. some of the passages, even, the way even, they describe them, the wheels yeah, with the even, eyes and all that, like, these don't sound like beings. They sound like spacecraft, aliens. They sound like something else. And this is in that book, you know, the way the angels are described. They're, they're, they're oh, creatures. Yeah, we assume they're missing, humans with wings. No, they're there, not. Yeah, there is, there is missing <laughs> pages. I don't even know how many countless pages, original well, writing. The Book of Enoch is sitting in, in the vaults of the uh, Vatican. All hmm. the information that anything that you want to know about that is it's, there. It's, it's, it's a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of stuff going on in the Vatican, the Vatican. and, and back to the to penile the gland. The new, the new age, the new age movement believes that the penile gland is the connection between the body and the spirit. And um, right. you know, and, and and we gotta go right now because we don't have too much longer. But um, we do want to touch back on that. Um, so please, please call back um, soon as you can. Mm -hmm. We definitely appreciate it. Mad love, mad love. Keep Thank up you. the good work, guys. Mad love. Bye. My pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Can we throw up that Fox News racist uh, picture if uh, we can? Hey, Elm, I, I got a question. I got a question for you guys. Anything. Okay, it's like this. With Mike Brown, it's not only is he being demonized, so are the witnesses. Do right. you realize that only when something happened to a black person, the witnesses' credibility is automatically zero? Wow. At the um, neck. Uh, 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 and look at the and look at another situation. I'm going to give you a very small comparison. Robin Williams died, right? right. Mm. Throw up Robin Williams look, picture. So look, so Throw that up after so, so 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 check it out. So his wife walks past the room, never checks on him, and doesn't know that he was in there dead. Right. His housekeeper finds him dead. Mm. Why do everybody believe his wife unequivocally with no question? That she didn't kill it. Well, she's, mm. she's a skinny white woman. Yeah. Why wouldn't he I? He had a wife. Yeah. Yeah. He had a yeah. wife. It wasn't his first one. I think he was like yeah. on wow. number three. It's a skinny but, white woman but, but with money. Know, I, he had a wife. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah. she, she was probably like thirty. I forget her age. She was young, white. Wow. But what the hell was but, she doing that? See, he killed himself. And, and at the same time, if you listen to the story with your third ear, they said that she was sleeping her room and he was sleeping his. Uh oh. I don't know that's if that's marriage. the new way to do it. You know what I mean? I know but I at the same come time, home and not get in bed But at the wife. same time, nobody is questioning his wife whatsoever. Yeah. Not one question, not one accusation, but every single witness, unless they agree with the officer in Ferguson, is a liar. Yep. They don't make any sense. They're not credible. Ooh. Even though some of these people have no record, mm. never been in trouble with the law, their credibility is squandered just based on the fact that they are not. Or what we need say, to Caucasian? know is what they're trying their best not to let us know. When they're actively pursuing the media with aggressive tactics, 
training weapons on them, trying to, you know, just scare them away. That's, that's all you need yeah, to Yeah, because they want the media crime. to be complicit in what they yeah. want them to see. Like I said, I, I Let truly, me get that California girl. Keep talking. Let I, me get that I, California girl. I truly don't believe that um, – all these kids and all these men are reaching for these police officers' weapon. Yeah, um, when I had to, when, when I had to explain to somebody, I said, you know, what you don't understand as a white person is, yeah, uh, as a black person, we may have a lot of heart, but the one thing we are afraid of is the motherfucking police. That's the Period one, that's the slave master. Blank. You see what I mean? Because they have a whole lot of control. They have more control over your life sometimes than you do. That's right. And, and, and when what are you you're looking for? Well, I was I was listening to the brother. I know I still wanted to possibly talk about the distractions that's going on with the ice bucket. We were talking about Mike oh, Brown from bucket. the Ebola virus. Oh, yeah, they shooting they Ebola said, They said right California at has an Ebola scare. Sacramento. I saw it on yeah. ABC. I looked it up. Sacramento, California. You they know, won't so even tell I you where I it comes talk from. About it. And I want to talk about the... Well, do you got me... Do you got a picture of me with the black, with the black girl... On Sports Illustrated. Yeah, I want to do an ice Monet. bucket challenge to stop gang banging and go yeah. two weeks without killing each other. Can I get an ice bucket for yeah, that? Yeah, let's start that. Yeah. Can, yeah. can I get an ice bucket for that so we all can take all excuses the off the table? Yeah. <laughs> Southern California. You know what's funny? It rained today, and we love to brag about how it doesn't rain, right? But we're yeah, dying of thirst. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, we're, we're dying of thirst at the same time. 90% of all bottled water comes from California. Yeah, isn't that odd? <laughs> Arrowhead water from San Bernardino of all places. Like Pepsi Cola, they, they, they get most of their water Atlantean from Southern California. The, uh, oh, oh, this is uh, uh oh. Here we go, Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Olancha, where the hell that is. <laughs> what, meanwhile, in Africa, when, before we answer this, when I was in Africa, before I went to Egypt, I was in a village in Botswana, and these kids had to walk three to five miles with buckets on their. Freaking Stay head alive. just to get a clean bucket of water, dog. Yo, 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 caller, caller, what's Holla, up? How you Come doing, on, man? Pe oh, still, man, you already know. It's young, no back in the set. What's happening with the bro? Oh, what's peace happening? to the gods. Good, Welcome brother. to what is the Matrix, man. What's on your mind? Oh, uh, man, you know what I'm saying? The best reflection is self-reflection of things neglected, homie. In order to change, you know what I'm saying, the world, you got to change yourself first. True, true, true. Man in the mirror. That's what Michael Jackson said. Yeah, right. right. Remember the times. <laughs> so what's good with you, God? Motherfuckers better start listening, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that they just entitled to, to give their opinions and ain't been through shit. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? What's up, man? Can I spit a little 16 for y'all something? Oh, this is Please. Nino? This is Nino from the pen? Man, you already know already, man. Please. Oh, yeah, you can pick, but you got to, before, I, I don't want you to get in trouble, but you got to tell me, I got a lot of homies who hit me from the pen with cell phones. Yeah. How does that, I, how, does, how, does, how do you have much power? Because I know you're a God, and I know you're a powerful being. How, how are you able to call in the pen? Bro, two plus two equals four. Money they come in, the they around. come in, you feel me? They come in, we bomb, and we get right back in touch with the world. It's a world inside of a world, bro. Right, right. Spit that. You know Let's I mean? hear that, though. Let's hear that. Let's hear that. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. so, wait, before you, so we got my God. I know they watching us. I got a friend who I grew up with, you know, back in the day before, before niggas was before YouTube and you had videos about the Illuminati and pyramids, brothers like me, right. I got videos of my brother Nino before he went in when I used to shut down in cahoots. When we used to have sold out shows at House of Blues, in cahoots, All the time. you know, when Outkast, Killer Mike, they used to get mad, you know what I'm saying? Mike Jones, all them. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Like, yeah. The, big, big, the, Ooh. the big homie game, you feel me? Black Wall Street, the whole movement. We was out there, you feel me? Big shots out to the rib. You know what I'm saying? Marino Valley, San Bernardino. All my homies out there in Compton. Woo. Woo. I, I, I. So, so we listen to the God Nino B. So uh, yes, sir. It, before you rap, introduce us and spit your shit. Tell us oh, what yeah, your man, rap's this about. Is a, what, what it's man, about. So we know what we got. Man, this, 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 this right here, what I'm about to spit, man, just came strictly from the heart. Everything that I've been through when I was in a dark place, man, you feel me? So it actually had went to that, uh, the game beat, start my life from scratch. But, you know what I'm saying? It's basically just 
the trials and tribulations of my life. We love you, bro. We hope you come home soon. All the time, yes, sir. I love y'all too, man. So I told him, uh, it's been a long time coming. With this seven in, come like mess, your sister, Hennessy, and Sam. Fuck a bitch or a friend, cause all you got in the end, it's a word in your balls, and God as your friend. Now I ain't trying to go to hell, my life seems so tempting. Should I persevere? Should I live my life for redemption? There's another side of me, yeah, and the demons is itching. Brewing up like a pot, hiding in those kitchen. I ain't never had a dad, so how the fuck can I be a man? If the man ain't no life, don't teach a man how to stand. Who you bitch sucking and fucking loving another man? Matter of fact, raising a child in the presence of another man. Is it wrong to be jealous? Wow. Jealousy breeds envy. Where do we go when we die to answer? Ain't that easy. Ask the Lord when I cry. If you could try to forgive me. Could a nigga do life? Nah, it ain't that easy. Being black's like rocking and rolling guns and roses. Rolling stones from dirt niggas, I don't know this. My pops seem to curse my life, nigga, like hocus pocus. But I wouldn't change the shit. Could it be bogus? Now I understand how to try to become a man. But there's a lot of things about being a man I don't understand. So I get it how I live and I live just how I get it. My life is like a blur for dreams. It's so vivid. I picture my life living as a Kodak moment just to prepare for the future. I can't live for the moment, yeah. I'm one in a million, dog. You can't clone me. These niggas say the real, but shadows say they phony. Hold up. Already. Oh. And my boy Elm Street, this is the Matrix. Y'all better open up your eyes, man. You know what I'm saying? Be objective to everything. Because it may look some way, but that's not the way it really is. You feel me? Word up. Oh, Nino man. killing it. Oh. More power, power than any oh, prayer. Hey, hey. Are you Yo. there? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. So it's fucking yeah, crazy. It, it's crazy pretty much the side of the pen. Niggas getting raped. Niggas getting killed and stabbed. Trying to hold your sanity. There's no rehabilitation. It's basically what was... Tell us, man. It's like the streets. They keep us completely divided in there, too. It's the, exactly, it's the man. It's the same it's, thing it's, going on. You know what I'm saying? I call this, you know what I mean, just, just from everything that I've learned in, in, in my 29 years, bro, being on this earth. Like, being in here opened my eyes up to, to the matrix, bro. basically. You know what I'm saying? I see everything for what it really is. I know how to communicate with individuals. And this is the home of broken souls, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and for a lot of men in here that aren't coming home, they give up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and I've been down since 2006 and seven, bro. My first time ever getting locked up. You know what I'm saying? High school, graduate, you feel me? Went to college, D1 scholarship, Jackson State, Mississippi, all that, bro. So... We all in here, man, like I said, come from different backgrounds, bro, but everybody got to be together as one. That's just each one teach one. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, I'm young right. Nino, bro. You feel me? New Jack when, City. I'm my brother's team for 24-7, 365, you come bro. home, because from, from my understanding, I don't know if it's the truth, my God, you had got life, yeah. or when you come home? Man, man, actually, you know what I'm saying? God's good, bro. I was looking at uh, 42 years of double life, you feel me? Fought my case for six and a half years in the county jail. Ended up... Uh, you know what I mean? Taking a deal uh, for, for 29 years, though. So I should be home within the next seven. But I got these two motions going through, man. And, and if everything goes well, I'll be in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Either time server within the next two. So make sure all y'all keep me in your prayers. Keep my That's family right. in your you prayers. You, you know, yeah, you don't let your soul get broken. Yeah, your soul is not to be broken. Strong, brother. You got that. At, at the end of the day, I already know what got you locked up. So to me, it's not no funny shit, even though we are wild as a motherfucker. I'm glad. Man, you already it. know. <laughs> you already know. You know what I'm saying? It's just about how, how fast you bounce back from your mistakes, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, Keep your you know head. what I'm saying? Everybody, niggas better recognize, bro, they will not be where they at in life, homie, if they were not given a second chance. So before somebody quick to judge, y'all better judge yourself. You feel me? Right, 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 right. Elm Street. Um, Elm. Hey, Elm Street, the Matrix. I love oh, y'all niggas, man. Y'all already know California. Hey, I love you, my nigga. Yeah. Hey, Elm. Hey, already. Hey, Princess right. Junior High, Junior All-American. Day one man. like sandbox, bro. Real players. Hey, Elm. Elm. I love you, my guy. Elm. Be safe, man. Hey, Shout out to my brother. Always done, man. nigga. Elm, have you always here? For have, me, have, you, have you ever calling every week? Have you ever wondered why they'll give somebody two hundred years? Why would they do that? Because after you, after you die, they want to keep your soul in prison. Just these holes got on me, but they can't have it though. That's what I'm talking about. Why so I give a shout out to everybody sitting down right now? Maybe it's my door. In and out, in and out, crazy. 
Maybe it's this man well, that got me. Maybe it's TV, my TV, tune in got me. every Maybe week, on the week, same please. time, every time. Please. Appreciate you paying attention. Mr. Almanac, we thank you for joining us every week. Thank you. Already. Thank you. I wake up in the morning. I put my brothers from you. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Yeah. Hopefully it's too thin. Better than CNN. Always screaming. Fuck my brother. And all that. Now that you can shower on them suckers like that. That will lie to shit. No prison person. Will lie. All time. Hold your head. Still with. Hey! It's the Matrix! 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 It's the Matrix